if you have done a degree in biotechnology or you are pursuing a degree in biotechnology, then this is the million dollar question which you must ask yourself. And that is, what is better, a dry lab job or a wet lab job? What exactly will give you a job faster and with a higher paying package? Well, let's find out in this video. Now to start with, let's first understand what is the demarcation in between these two. So you all can easily understand like right now, suppose you wanted to come to Bangalore and meet me, it'll cost you a lot of money. Of course, the flight tickets, coming time, right? So you can easily save that by just having conversation through YouTube and comment section, right? We are having a conversation right now. The same way that is dry lab. So when you actually go in the lab and perform some experiment in a real physical lab, that's called the wet lab. But when you just do it in a virtual uh, manner, then it is called as a dry lab, right? Now, the question to be asked is, where the job demand will be in the future? Maybe right now it is something else, but where it will be in the future, that we have to find out. And also we should understand what will get us maximum money, right? So like I told you earlier, that if you had to come here, you'll spend a lot of money, right? The same way, if the biotech companies have to do drug discovery or anything, they have to spend a lot of money, right? But if in the fraction of that money, if they can create the same environment virtually and exper experiment and find out whether this particular molecule will dock with my target uh, receptor or not, they will save tremendous amount of money, tremendous amount of time. So that is why more companies are more inclined towards dry lab, right? Now that means if it can be done faster, so obviously they will be ready to hire somebody who can do this faster, right? And that is why there is a huge demand for dry lab right now and will always be there in the future just like the IT industry. Now, why exactly software engineers are paid highly is because they can create softwares which can do multitasking, right? The same way you as a bioinformatician or a computational biologist can save a lot of time for a biotech company. So obviously they'll hire you faster. So that is where you can get a job faster in the dry lab. But now coming to the wet lab, what will happen in the wet lab? In the wet lab, you already have, for past 70 years, this course has been there and so many people have graduated, post-graduated and PhD. Now they are always getting jobs. Uh, they, were, they have been applying for these uh, wet lab jobs. So obviously this wet lab is saturated because if no new companies are coming up, then no new wet lab jobs are being created unless Biocon or Sinjin decides to you know, start a new department. So that is where you need to understand that this field is not, I would not say saturated, but towards that right now okay now in india right now it is 8853 startups which are well established now unregistered if we add it can go up to 15000 also but yeah registered ones are 8853 startups now all these startups can always have the dry lab right almost every biotech company can have a bioinformatics and ai ml department so that is where the demand for these kind of jobs will go high but the only thing to be know you should know is the dry lab will involve data analysis. It will involve statistical tools, it will involve bioinformatics tools, it will involve computational tools. So you need to be thorough with that. So you need to learn the computational biology, you need to learn the bioinformatics and AIML. And that you can always do by enrolling in Biotechnica's internship and you can also do research projects with us. More details in the description. Now coming back to the video, question is, if dry lab can get me a job faster, will it be high paying? Will it grow in the future? Well, the answer is yes. As you grow in your experience, your pay package will improve. But here it will improve drastically because the computing power of computers is increasing. You will get experience and you will be sitting in the shoulders of computer science doing research in life science. So you will grow faster than any other person in the market. So that is where the speed of getting jobs will be high in dry lab. And also the pay package will be higher in the future. Even right now also I am seeing MSc with um, bioinformatics uh, experience is getting 50,000, 60,000 rupees salary. So we can see that it is happening. But you need to be skilled enough. You need to have the right skill set, whether it is dry lab or wet lab. If you are getting into wet lab, you should have microbiology, molecular biology skill set. If you are getting into dry lab, you should know computational languages. You should know programming languages such as Python, R, data science, and also various uh, molecular docking softwares, PyMol, and Veena, Autodoc, all of that you should know. Now, coming to the final part, whether both the fields will grow in the future, the answer is yes. Wet lab as well as dry lab will grow. The dry lab will grow faster than the wet lab because wet lab requires investment by the company. 
for dry lab you just need to buy some extra computer will which will cost you a couple of thousands but to establish a new lab it will cost crores of rupees that is where the scalability of the job will be higher in the dry lab and that is what the industry trend also says right now now coming to the work life balance also dry lab will have a better work life balance because of course you can switch off work and go back home but in wet lab if the batch process is running you cannot try to repeat you cannot go back and relax at home because the batch process is running so these are the things we should know before uh, taking a call about towards dry lab or wet lab however let me warn you again if your passion lies in wet lab just because i said don't switch to dry lab okay if you if your passion is in wet lab go for it but yes of course there is no harm in learning the dry lab skills because maybe you may need it in the future right and of course every uh, wet lab scientist nowadays is expected to know bioinformatics and ai ml so you can always learn right so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon in the next one till then if any questions are there put them down in the comment section or reach out to me anytime i'll help you take care bye bye Thank you.